Hi, we are here today at the Lyric Theatre with the cast and writer and director of The Flood. Hi, Daniel. Hi, um, well, It's great that you're all here in Belfast and you're putting the show on um, in the Norton studio at the Lyric. Uh, this is your first night tonight, is that right? Tonight is our first performance, yeah. Uh -huh. And you're running until the 8th of November? Correct. Great stuff. And could you tell us a little bit about the show and in particular the resonance that it would perhaps have here in Northern Ireland? Sure. Um, to that point, um, the, the first time it was staged properly, there were a number of readings uh, that were hosted in New York, but the first time it was staged properly in New York was in the 2014 Fringe Festival. And I've been saying since, uh, since then that the most encouraging response that this has gotten has been from young Irish men, particularly back then in New York, who might have been new to the city um, and might not necessarily even be into the arts, be into theater, be into emotional expression. Um, and just how, how moved they were by it. And that's really who uh, this show is attempting to reach, is, is to sort of address some of the uh, dysfunction in, in handling matters of the spirit, matters of the heart, um, and a sort of antiquated sense of masculinity. Now, honey, don't you worry about that. Everybody has to start somewhere. And I'm sure that paycheck isn't so dreadful after all. Yeah, well, here's to that. And John, you have moved from the boxing into acting. And uh, I saw you up in Derry in Dave Duggan's Denizen uh, mm -hmm. during the year, earlier in the year. Um, what's it like uh, with a new role, uh, a new piece? Um, how, are you, how are you finding your way in acting? Um, uh, at the moment, it's, uh, it's been very enjoyable. Mm -hmm. You know, like the, to be able to come back home again and, and, and with uh, a whole cast mm -hmm. from uh, for all, all coming from New York as mm -hmm. well together, like we're, we're a wee sort of trip together mm -hmm. and they come to the Lyric Theatre mm -hmm. of all places mm -hmm. to put on a show and doing it in front of your family and friends and people f from this area like it's a okay, great guys, experience. Here we go. For the movie star, the professor mm -hmm. <laughs> and one for bloody Gilligan here. Oh uh, wait a second, who are you supposed to be? Me, I'm the captain of course, soy a capitan. You mean the skipper dummy? Yes, the skipper, that is me and I'm gonna skip the ship to safety. Um, in Northern Ireland right now, we have uh, quite a severe situation with regards to funding cuts um, and lots of theatre organisations as well as other arts organisations have been cut. The Arts Council's budget has been cut by 20% just in this year alone. Mm. What do you think the arts mean to society? Um, um, why do we need them? I've always found the arts valuable um, even before I, I started to take being an artist seriously in that a lot of the difficulties that arise in society, a lot of the violence, a lot of the social dysfunction tends to come from a failure or an inability to uh, be understood, to express oneself. Um, and that kind of dialogue that's created by foundations uh, such as your own to, to create a space within which people can just get stuff out, uh, get differing opinions out into the world is just to me, it's invaluable. I mean, I think that there's there's sort of a domino effect that begins if that's not in place. Yeah. And in a place, uh, you know, like Belfast in particular, I, I think that uh, arts and expression are essential mm -hmm. to the survival of, of, uh, of the piece that's, that's come about, so. Mm -hmm. The skipper got everyone stranded on a desert island. A vast you mutinous hag, I'll have you walk on the fucking plank. <laughs> I love you. Well, all right then, guys. To the storm. To the, the storm. storm. Okay. And John, what was your first experience in the arts in Northern Ireland as, as, as a kid? Did you did you do much acting when you were younger? I, I didn't really do much acting apart from whenever I was boxing, you mm -hmm. know. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> but like uh, as a kid, like we always went to the pantomimes and the show up around the Rialto at all in the area. And uh, growing up as well, my my dad and, and mum were huge movie fans and used to read a lot and, and things like mm -hmm. that there and. Uh, as I say, with the boxing, I was, that was my goal as a kid. But then once they sort of, once that chapter ended, I was always interested about mm -hmm. pursuing this and, and being a part of telling stories and, and adding to people and giving them something where you're not losing a piece of yourself. Mm -hmm. you're, you're growing in yourself, you know. And like even the experience after doing the show, having the conversations with people outside and wh what they were thinking whenever it was all been told and, and, and brought out and, and what they thought of each character, mm -hmm. I, I find it fascinating. And I just think that it's a... Uh, it's something that just it needs to happen more often. It needs to be pushed more uh, from from young ages right on up. And uh, I really want to be a part of of, of that kind of storytelling and solution to people's problems. Good stuff. 
And Kimberly, this is your first time in Belfast. Yes. And your first time, all the rest of the cast performing mm. performing here. What does mm. it what does it mean to come to Belfast to to to, to put on the show and to, to start here? Well, it's been a wonderful experience so far. I've only been here a couple of days, but people are quite welcoming, certainly. Mm. And to think about what Daniel was saying about community, and you know, considering the community, the way that it's changed continues to change even now, being able to bring this a story that is very New York, but also, I mean, it, it translates so well. Mm -hmm. It translates. You have storms going on and different kinds of storms yeah. and how people get through them and how the community of friends, romantic partners, family, how many commonalities there are. Mm -hmm. And the same things that get one group through are often the exact same things that will get another group through. Mm -hmm. It's thrilling to be here. Mm -hmm. Well, look, we are delighted that you've you've sat down with us for Mets today. I know that you know you're teching, you're getting ready, you've got a run through. So we're really very grateful. Oh, it's great to have you, Julie. Um, we'll and get come back to, see, to work, come so. to see the show tonight. So look great. forward to seeing yeah. it. Great, so great. So if we're not ready, don't judge us too okay. harshly. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Thanks very you. much. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.